Well, welcome back to Max Card Models. Um, not been doing a lot on the uh, 427 SE Shelby Cobra from uh, River Monogram. I have, like I said, was going to do. I have actually painted the body, and this is the pearlescent orange. It is the Ford Electric Orange. It's pearlescent. Um, it's come out quite good, and I've also put two big black stripes. These aren't decals. I painted these on. They're a bit of Tamiya X1. The other thing I'm doing on this model at the moment is I'm picking out the panel lines. Um, just done that today. As you can see, I didn't want to go for a big black bold. I went for a, a light grey. And I've used my old favourite again, which is the Velagio model washes. These are fantastic. These are water-based. Unlike the inks and the enamel base, you just get a cotton bud and wipe them off. Now, Give a quick demonstration of that actually. Let's take a cotton bud. And I'm just going to clean up one of these panel lines. Um, so then quickly dip it in the water, get rid of the excess. I absolutely adore these washes, they are fantastic. So let's just take a bit here and this is dried for two hours and it is literally cleaning up so you see that big blob down there we got that just give it a quick swipe not too heavy just enough to get the excess away and uh, there we go those Vlagio, Vlagio model washes are fantastic and I should keep doing that on this, um, giving it a quick clean up, getting rid of this excess, and it is coming out absolutely pin sharp. Um, and I keep the dry ends, and I just take the excess away. May have run. Um, I didn't want to go for black, like I said. I didn't want it to be overbearing. I wanted the orange just to keep singing on this one. Um, so that light grey is just enough to give kind of a dark line there. What I'm going to do now, because the weather is now really starting to change quite rapidly, I want to lock all of this in now with um, the acrylic primer. Uh, not the acrylic primer, the acrylic lacquer. Um, from my auto shop, it's a 2k. So, but I'm a bit finicky about when I do my lacquers. I like the temperature just to be on the right side of warm. And we're approaching early early November, and the temperatures starting to drop. So, I don't know how quickly I'm going to be able to get on and do that. So, I'm going to continue building the rest of the, the model up, and I've started on the chassis. I'm going for black, semi-gloss black. This is the Revel um, semi-gloss semi 302. Um, I've moved away from Tamiya paints. I've, I've gone off of them for some peculiar reason. I just don't like using them any longer. The cleanup's horrible. But these Revel paints, because again, they're water-based, they literally clean out the airbrush with a bit of water. Um, I was finding with the Tamiya paints, I was having to do six, seven clean-outs with the Revel paints I'm finding that I only have to do three clean outs and I've got a nice clean ready to go airbrush again. So that's the progress on the Shelby Cobra um, and it's going to go a little bit slower because of the temperature issues I'm experiencing. I'm sitting out in the conservatory here um, with no heating so I literally have to wait for a warmer day so I can get all my painting done and this one's going to progress quite nicely over the winter and uh, hopefully by Christmas time it should be finished. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.